it's been a while. <laughs> um, yeah, we're back. <laughs> so you guys, because you guys, know, the last time I recorded a video or uploaded a video was like a month ago, I think. And I'll be honest here, I just lost motivation to lot to to do these videos. I just didn't feel like doing them anymore. It's just came out of control. So I just had to take a break from the music, focus uh, mostly on streaming, um, which I didn't do a lot because I was really busy uh, throughout the past couple of months, you know, with work and everything. But we're back here. Finally, finally bought a new camera. Hopefully it's better. They don't want to give to my brother. Hopefully it's better. It looks better. But today we're back into some controversial Mario Kart opinions. So yeah, um, we're ready for this. Go ahead and get right into the video. Waluigi Pinballo, Coconut Mall, Delfino Square, and we Rainbow Road. We're never that good of tracks. I actually okay, like the visual style wow. of the BCP. I have, in fact, we have so many Rainbow Roads with the high likelihood of yet another in Wave 6. It's excessive. I asked Reddit and YouTube for 100 controversial Mario Kart opinions. Here they are. Mario oh, Kart Wii has the worst battle mode in the entire series. Yes, even worse than 8 Wii U, and I'm speaking as someone who grew up on Mario Kart Wii. Okay, real quick, uh, I grew up on Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart DS, so, and I barely play Mario Kart Wii, so I don't know how much an opinion I can have on Mario Kart uh, on Wii. I did play Mario Kart 7 a little bit, but not a lot to, like, really kind of get an opinion on it, so, yeah. The oval tracks are a delight. And even if there are three of yes. them, the longer two are insanely fun on 200cc, and Baby Park is just yes. chaos. They should have used Mario. You guys don't understand. Baby Park is the best track ever. I will say, if you're playing competitively, yes, it's the worst track ever made. If you're playing casually with friends, it's the best track ever. I don't care. Come at me. I will die on this hill. You don't understand. Your circuit forms the SNES track for Wave Two. It's yeah, I agree with that. Circuit Three. Moonview Highway it's is style worse more. than Deluxe and Toll's Turnpike. Yoshi's I don't agree with that. Squeaky clean sprint suck. I don't think Toad's factory is worthy of Waluigi Pinball. Oh, shit. I don't think Toad's factory is worthy of a remake. I just don't see the appeal on why is the most loved Mario Kart Wii track here. Pauline and or Funky Kong shouldn't be the final characters for the BCP. Instead, it should be Honey Queen and Hammer Bro. Shock is a terrible mm. item. It goes way beyond helping players <laughs> catch up. It's completely raised to finding most of the time. There are a lot of Waluigi Pinball opinions, 3, 2, 1, go. Waluigi Pinball is just an above average track, not the best score up there. Waluigi Pinball is less than Daisy Cruz. No, I'm not, Waluigi no. Waluigi Stadium is greater than Waluigi Pinball. A track with the exact same label nah, as Waluigi Pinball. I hate Waluigi Pinball. Waluigi Pinball. Pinball. Jesus! Waluigi Pinball and Airship Fortress are overrated. Wario Coliseum should have returned in a DLC instead of Waluigi I'd agree with that. for the third time. I'd agree with that. Rumble Volcano is my favorite track and 100 times better than whatever is going on in N64 Rainbow Road. I don't like cart loadouts. Sure. I'd much rather just have finely tuned complete carts rather than having the weird combos with roller wheels and everyone to have the advantage. Fair yes, enough. I especially hate that the characters have stat allocations. I just want to play my favorite characters <laughs> without worrying about if they suck or not. I fair want enough, cool carts to be the best. I'm not driving a stuff fair. I don't care how good it is. The lightning cloud isn't the worst item of so many people make it out to be. You get a speed boost and can go through shortcuts, plus it's not all that difficult to pass it to someone else. Baby Park Mirror is greater than Baby Park. Roll no. tires are incredibly ugly and way too small and that's why I don't use them. Pipe Frame is the best cart. I love Dry Dry Desert. The Mega track. Mushroom and Thundercloud were great items that should have returned in later entries. Gold Mario could have been a better prize. <laughs> Ninja Hideaway is a bad track. Agreed. Mario Kart Wii is the melee of Mario Kart. Most of the fans that play it today are those who consider exploits a skill gap. I'll speak my truth. I don't understand the appeal of Yoshi's Island. Sky High Sunday is fun. Sky Gardens that. remake and MKAD and Tour is pretty good. Granted, I have little to no experience with the original, but the remake is pretty fun. Item Baggin is fun. Bone Dry <laughs> Dooms is overhated and underrated. It has an amazing aesthetic and its music is one of the best in Base 8. Definitely deserves to be in the special cup because of its difficulty. Mario Kart Double Dash is overrated. If Phil Forklift, but it has some fine tracks. DK Mountain is boring, 3DS Rainbow Road Song and 8 Deluxe is awful. MK7 is my favorite game in the series. Okay, GC fine. Sherbet Land is the worst track. I'd give you that. DK, DK Mountain is pretty simple. It's a pretty simple track. It's not a lot to it, per se. So, I'd give you that. Fine, I'd give you that. ...in the game and is not close. This is a mega hot take, but the 8 Deluxe version of Yoshi Circuit is a really below average track for me. Ninja Hideaway is not a good track. It's too clunky to work well. TikTok clock is so overrated. <laughs> also, Tor Sky Garden is fine and I find Tor Sky Garden hate miserable. Vancouver Velocity is way better than Berlin Byways. Also, I like it more than Cheese Land as well. Tokyo Blur is a great track and I'm tired of pretending it's not. It's my second favorite city track after Athens Dash, and it's also in my favorite cup. Switch still hasn't had his own Mario Kart. Deluxe is still just a port with DLC. 
but yeah. Popular opinion. Subscribing to this channel and liking this video is a great idea. Mario Kart Wii is not that good. Mario <laughs> Kart 64 is the worst game in the series, at least of the games I played. Yes, even worse than Super Mario Kart. No. I'm just going to say it. I don't like the tour tracks. I prefer the normal and retro courses more. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Booster Course Pass course selection is so bad, it makes the original courses amazing. I hope Pauline won't be added as one of the last characters in Mario Kart 8 <laughs> Deluxe. I just hate her. There oh no! Well, good luck with that, buddy. Gold Peach and Baby Rosalina is the best characters in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I love Toad's Turnpike. No, my no, and no, course in no, 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 no. Toad's Turnpike, uh, Shroom Bridge, and uh, Movie Have You. Worst tracks in the game ever. Come fight me, I don't care. I don't think Mario Kart needs the whole DK crew in the roster. People wanting Dixie and Diddy and Funky. Listen, I love these guys, but with all those monkeys, why not just do a new Diddy Kong racing game instead? Most of GBA Ribbon Road's changes were unnecessary and disappointing. DS Desert Hills is nowhere near as bad as you've been told. Mario Kart 7 plays better than Mario Kart 8. The Thundercloud is a great item, Figure 8 Circuit isn't bad, and I prefer DS and Wii over 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart Wii is slightly overrated, the graphics are kinda ugly, the vehicles are unbalanced and, you can't say it's perfect because if it has Funky Kong or it has Coconut Mall. <laughs> Baby Park is the worst track created by Nintendo no. in any video game. 3DS Rainbow Road looked better in Mario Kart 7. Every Mario Kart has a broken combo that's exploitable, not just Wii. Delfino Square is greater than Waluigi Pinball. 3DS Rainbow Road is visual vomit and all the other <laughs> Rainbow Roads are better. I bought the DLC, and I am deceived by the way some of the tracks look. Even if most were initially made to run on phones, I like the Super Mario Kart tracks. Luigi and Mario Circus are some of the best tracks. I use Metal Mario a lot. I like Toe Circuit. Here are some longer opinions. Oh boy. Pause to read them. Mario Kart DS is mid. Mario Kart DS is actually pretty good. It's a decent game. You can't say it's mid. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that one. Blue shoes are useless to the guy who gets who gets them. Dep I think it depends really on how far away they are. Then, uh, how far, how far, how far away they are from the from the group. So, for example, if I'm from like really really far away from the rest of the group, yes, yeah, it's, it's useless. But if I'm like close to the group, it's I think it's I think it's useful. Uh, it's there for the video guys. Wow, let's do some interesting facts. If it's clear right now, I'm a huge uh, EB Park stan. I'm not afraid to admit that. Despite how chaotic, how chaotic and small it is, I think it's really it's such a great track. But let me know some unpopular opinions you guys might have in the comments below of this game. I'd really like to hear them. Thanks guys, subscribe to today's video. Hope you guys had, hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. And yeah, um, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, remember, you can do it too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.